going on on my YouTube? It is, I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And wrapping up my series of Billy Wilder reviews, in today's video I'll be reviewing the director's last film that he made from 1981, a movie called Buddy Buddy. During a high-profile mafia testimony case, a contract killer checks in a hotel room near the courthouse, while his next-door depressed neighbor wants to commit suicide due to marital problems. Buddy Buddy was released in 1981, and this was the last film directed by Billy Wilder. Uh, while he lived an additional 20-some years or so, he died in 2002, this was the last film Billy Wilder directed as he decided to retire after directing Buddy Buddy. And this film was a massive flop when it came out in 1981. Very few people saw it. It lost a lot of money. And critics really trashed this film. Especially Siskel and Ebert. Siskel even ranked Buddy Buddy as the worst film of 1981. This was not a well-liked movie. And this was seen as a death blow to Billy Wilder's legacy, unfortunately. But I was willing to give this an open mind. You know, Billy Wilder, great filmmaker, the guy behind Some Like It Hot and Stalag 17, Sunset Boulevard, Witness for the Prosecution. Those are all fantastic movies. And I thought his second to last film, Fedora, was highly underrated. So am I going to enjoy Buddy Buddy? Nope, Siskel and Eber were right on this one. Buddy Buddy is awful. Man, I thought The Seven Year Itch couldn't be topped on Worst Billy Wilder Film. But Buddy Buddy takes the cake as the worst film from Billy Wilder. And you gotta hate it when a director ends their career on such a stinker of a movie. Like, Francis Ford Coppola had Twix. He's supposedly making one more movie, and I hope that one turns out good and is better than that stinker. And John Singleton's last movie was Abduction, starring Taylor Lautner, which was an abysmal movie. Buddy Buddy, its biggest issue is that it's just so unfunny. There's these two stories that don't intersect together at all. You got Walter Matthau playing the hitman, doing his thing. And Jack Lemmon is like this suicidal maniac who's trying to kill himself throughout the course of the movie because of his failing marriage. Yes, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau are comedic legends. And they work great together usually. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of their other Billy Wilder co collaborations like the fortune cookie and the front page, they were still great together. You buy the chemistry... You, uh, between the two actors and they do work great together in those movies even if the movies themselves were not the best or anything here even the chemistry does not work in this movie because Jack Lemmon is just so annoying in this movie is so unlikable throughout he's very irritating throughout the course of the movie Walter Matthau is trying with the material given but the script does not do him any favors and the two stories do not intersect well together at all. It's just one meandering slog of one unfunny sequence after another. And they don't really mesh well together. You got the Hitman story, which I feel like should have been the focus of this movie. And I think if it was focused on that, it would have been a much more entertaining movie. Then Jack Lemmon shows up and brings his baggage into the story and... They don't flow together. I was very uncomfortable throughout most of the movie because Jack Lemmon's character is suicidal throughout, and they treat that as an extended joke, and that's a serious issue. And I took a little bit of offense to that because I don't think that's something you should make fun of, and it was just done in the most uncomfortable ways, and the film just felt tone deaf in a lot of regards. And the film was just pure torture for 90 minutes. It was painfully unfunny, terrible script. Jack and Walter had no chemistry in this movie, and the story just went nowhere. I probably only laughed once watching Buddy Buddy, and it was 
Walter Matthau pretending to be a priest pretending to speak Latin. That was the only part that made me laugh in this entire movie. If I had any other positives, the score was not bad. It's from Lalo Schifrin, the guy who did the Mission Impossible theme. He usually does good scores, and this score is no exception. Other than that, this film is awful. I cannot recommend this movie one bit. It's a terrible disgrace of a Billy Wilder movie. A terrible swan song for Billy Wilder. I wish Fedora was his last film, honestly, because at least that one was actually pretty good. But Buddy Buddy was absolutely disgraceful. It was a big misfire on all accounts. When the humor doesn't land, the story is incoherent. The two leads have no chemistry. And the film was just unfunny. That's a big failure in my book. This is a horrible movie. I don't recommend it. And it is a horrible swan song to an awesome director. And it's painful that this is the director's last film. I hate ending director projects on a, with a bad note. But here we are, Billy Wilder with Buddy Buddy. Oh man, I cannot stand this movie. It is an abysmal train wreck and a contender for one of the worst comedies I've ever seen in my life. I don't think it's the worst. Jack and Jill and Frank McCluskey CI still holds record for comedies being worse than this. But this film is still really, really bad. Mainly just because of how unfunny it is and the absolute waste of talent between Billy Wilder and the two leads, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. This was painful to watch, and it is pretty much an unwatchable mess on all accounts. I don't recommend Buddy Buddy. It's a horrible movie. Definitely the worst film in Billy Wilder's career. And I'll be giving the film half a star out of five. And on the 100-point scale, it's getting a four out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Buddy Buddy concluding my Billy Wilder director project. I've officially reviewed all 26 Billy Wilder films on my channel from beginning to end. I'm going to do a ranking video real soon where I'll be ranking all of Billy Wilder's films from worst to best. You probably know what my pick for the worst is going to be just from watching this video. It's going to be a live ranking since I'll be ranking 26 movies. So be on the lookout for that video coming to the channel real soon. And hopefully you'll be able to check it out when it drops live. I'll leave a link in the description below as well where you can check out my Billy Wilder director playlist where you can check out all the other Billy Wilder reviews that I've done on the channel from his first film, Bad Seed, all the way up to his last film, Buddy Buddy. And if you've seen Buddy Buddy, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!